We've talked about data models, um, and I just want to get some of these words straight because the jargon can pile up on top of on top of itself, and it becomes difficult to know what we're talking about. For instance, if I ask you what what's the format of your data, you might say, "Oh, that's a raster or a vector." Um, but those are data models, right? We are, we've been talking about raster and vector data models, um, whereas the format is more kind of uh, how is the computer specifically storing that type of data model. For instance, if you are a photographer, you might use JPEGs, or um, you know that's what your camera takes. Um, that's a high compression format of the raster data model. Um, we'll be using TIFFs almost exclusively. ArcGIS use what are called grid files. Um, for graphics, a lot of times I like to use PNG files because they deal well with transparency. And, you know, PNG means portable network graphic, and TIFF means tagged. Um, I think it's tagged image format or something like that. Um, it's just important to know that there are different types. In our world, we're going to almost worry exclusively about TIFF. Um, formats of the raster data model. The shape file is the most important of all the kind of vector data model formats. KML is for Google Earth. Um, SVG, you might see this is a, um, a vector graphic kind of format that Inkscape or Illustrator would use. But for our world, the industry kind of standard, everybody uses the shape file. Um, it's a way we can store vector data and also use um, tabular data with the vector shapes on the ground, kind of as I already described. Um, I've included table as its own data model, kind of tabular data, just, just so that we can start to recognize that we have to work kind of with tables um, in their own way. The vector data model uses tables, um, but I just wanted to conceptually dis make a distinction between the two. Um, XLS is, for instance, the ex one of, an Excel version of the tabular kind of data model. Uh, CSV is mostly what we're going to be using. Uh, CSV and TXT, those are comma-separated values and text files. A shape file uses a .dbf, and this file is actually included in the shape file. But this is seeming very confusing. All I want you to know is we're going to be using a TIFF. And that's the raster data model we'll use. And when we start out, we're just going to only use shape files, and that's the vector data model that we use. DBF is kind of a part of the shape file bundle, but sometimes we will use the comma-separated value uh, tabular data model as well. If we have a list, for instance, in a table of latitude and longitude, maybe we have a set of points, and we know the lat long in different columns, and we want to turn that into geographic data, um, we might use that as well. Um, what is a data type? So moving along in the confusion of terms, all I really want you to worry about um, for now is that numbers, for instance, could be stored as real, meaning as a decimal, as an integer, meaning whole numbers, um, Boolean, meaning kind of 0, 1, is it true or false, um, or as a text. So um, Boolean is a little bit more confusing because there are other ways to represent Boolean um, information. Um, this is kind of a logical format, and we don't really see that very often. The, the text, however, uh, we might use a number as an ID or as a name, and so that is important to distinguish. If I say this is object number one or object number two, we wouldn't add those together, but we might add integers or real numbers together. Data depth, um, we're not going to get into this for a little while, but this is how the computer stores the information that we're talking about. So, uh, in, for instance, in any pixel, uh, one bit is not very much information, it's zero or one. Um, 32 bit, we can have many more values per pixel, but the image becomes much, much larger. So, if you're confused, just remember that when you talk about raster and vector, you're talking about a data model.
when you're talking about the kind of suffix that the file has, um, dot tif, dot shp, these are formats of that model. And the type just means how are we storing the information in each of the kind of formats. So if there is a real number, it has a decimal. If it's an integer, there's no decimal, it's a whole number. And if it's a text, that means that even if it's a number, it might just be a name, but if it's a number, it's going to be a number that does not mean a quantity. It means a quality. And so we'll move on to the next um, section to talk about kinds of data. <laughs> um, good luck. Uh, feel free to ask questions and, and uh, shoot me an email or we can talk about it.